to America where the Zulu is so for diabetes. They write and to say diabetes that is a cure. The key is a very good to curing it is a very good diet and preventing it. It's not that we do it. People who follow this way really do it. They say and although they didn't talk about it so the secret I say milk chop healthy. And if you chop healthy, you will prevent them. Basically, for that point, they go for sure, right? So they really know the people they say, monitor the people they and die up when they chop fine for that period. So they say and say, the diet will stick to the diet, otherwise, if you don't stick to the diet, if you go start chop back, you'll still come back again. So, what is the diet? So, there's several levels. For prevention, <coughs> we want to have a, a relatively low glycemic diet. So for prevent diabetes, me, me I chop no of again sugar. So we avoid all white flour, white sugar, junk food. Yeah, say so me, me no chop chop the way, plenty way get that in every day. White with sugar, flour, me no, me no, this is that kind of chop them. We don't say like the American Diabetes Society, you can have soft drink. You know, nothing, it's zero. American diabetes station, they don't say people they begin, they begin drink small salt drink, and they don't say you don't get no salt drink, you drink no water. So that's very important. That will help tremendously. If you do as so, it will really, really help them to cure that diabetes. Then the second level is to decrease the amount of carbohydrate you put in your diet. So we have to, to reduce carbohydrates. So for chop them like fukon, um, rice, uh, yeah, they get carbohydrate over. So you need to reduce that carbohydrate when you chop by every day. And the healing diet has no grain. This is for healing. No grain, no wheat, no rice. So for eat that diabetes, so I just say no rice, no wheat. You need to stop that chop there. That chop fine. Because carbohydrate, wheat, and grains do raise your blood sugar. Because when you chop that, that wheat is so you get carbohydrate, you're not carbohydrate, but always go back and increase that blood sugar. This is for people with diabetes. Say to the man say, stop to chop that fish, more see to go up. Then his blood sugar went down. As the man stops, so blood sugar go down back. In into the eggs. Go back to take what risk it. So these are all people here, yeah, well, but these are for the hard work. So all that other people they do for the they get another that diabetes, then I need to get that type one diabetes. So the body is that sensitive to the diet. So the skin there so it can react plenty. It will reflect that to the chop, so you know if you say you chop the eye down, your skin just so you know it's the way you eat it. So as you chop, it be very sensitive to the chopper. Now the other two aspects of the food are uncooked and organic. And he give the aspect of the food to be very important to so for treat the diabetes. It be good for the cook, for the eat uncooked food, that if you cook raw vegetable like salad, so raw salad. And we need to be organic, we need no use fertilizer them for that chemical and fertilizer them for plant the chop in. So if you go for farm, you go plant and naturally for farm, go to the farm for yourself. And we do and go there and buy use fertilizer them for farm. So it's raw nuts and seeds, like chia seeds, nuts and seeds, and all the vegetables, the salads, the tomatoes, all the vegetables. That works. So it is recommend to only chop plenty nuts then. I know cashew nut there for you, you find we we'll always be used to cashew nut. That chia seed I know should say there for you, but you we'll chop plenty nuts then, you we'll chop vegetables then. So lentils, uh, with the there for you, so we we'll need chop everything. And yeah, tomatoes are part of it. Tomato so fine, tomato they need for fine plenty, so it is recommend to make that. Carrots, beets, those are all the vegetables. Carrot, all, all, we get all that chocolate, we are all in one. Yeah. Everything that is. And sprouts, which 
I'm not sure you have here, but they're easy to do. And it's proud and so it's proud and that when you put so stick, it does that grow. We want to start grow so if you take and so it depends on kind see where you plant and so the fires go chop up. The live food has very strong healing energy. Say when you chop food, natural raw food. Like when you chop nice salad to another you cook and say that one said fine, say we get very nice good healing proper. John for Arnold, we are able to talk more about farming, how we farm naturally. So now I hope part of the topic will talk. Now I, I don't want to get too technical, but I want to explain a little bit about insulin. He said no go about talk high 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 to be able to try to explain insulin. He said because now insulin be very important. Say at least as we if you want to know about diabetes, me understand that insulin because diabetes. So basically, most the way you follow up, you need to check and so you check your sugar, you see how it go as you chop fine every day for the measure. Because the diet really does work. Because when you measure and so soon as you know that you chop chop and you chop and you walk very well, and it drops your blood sugar pretty quickly. And when you chop that chop, you drop your sugar level very quickly too, and you only know that if you check and constantly. You have to watch the insulin because if you keep the insulin the same, it can create an insulin shock. You get to watch that insulin before if you if you if you if you don't say insulin to it either be high or be low. Well but low too so if you see cause problems for you. So that's important. So if you may put up keep that insulin level to very good level. Now what I do want to talk about is insulin. And these are things people don't know about insulin. Insulin is a driving force behind Atherosclerosis or clogged arteries in heart disease. So you might talk about insulin tomorrow because insulin, when you have the leading cause of the atherosclerosis, now when blood flow is inside, it's a very heavy cause heart attack. So, so insulin can cause that kind of thing. So also associated with high blood pressure. And that thing will be associated with high blood pressure. You know, say if blood flow is inside, it's a very heavy cause. Is based on being the reduced blood pressure, the higher blood pressure, the high. And what most people don't know is that it stimulates certain types of cancers. And that is linked to we don't need to say diabetes, diabetes, but if it's even more simple, cause of kind of cancer, that includes cancer of the colon, the pancreas, the breast, and the prostate. So colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer. That high insulin, people cause that kind of cancer. Then. So we see, I say, the body is insulin problem now. If you don't get cancer, so it also creates deficiency in vitamin C, magnesium, and other sleep for the rest, for, for for prevent, for for take care of diabetes. People who don't who get less than seven hours sleep have a much higher rate of diabetes. People that they sleep less than seven hours per day. If that is what I know, it's about work or family. Yeah, chance to get diabetes, diabetes self still be higher than put the way they spread the way they still fine. Exercise is also very important. Apart from nutrition, sleep also we find the exercise. You know the shit also. You don't have to do this. You know most of that one, that one had the feeling work itself. But just walking every day. For 20 or 30 minutes is perfect. Even 20 minutes work out. You don't come up for my one day shop my every day. It's still correct. You know what's on that one? Walking. Yeah, for work out, for work out. There are many things we can talk a long time. Love is also very important. If I see the issue, you must say, if I say, you know, that relationship, you know, happiness. As an area in charge of dog, happiness be important for me to control sick to fear skin. Now this is something about all chronic disease. The more vegetables people had, the less chronic disease in all the countries. The more meat fish chicken, the more chronic disease. So that's on graph that way this one. If you see as the red so the more go watch of the the chop and the meat fish, all that stuff the Make a chance to get the poor, the number of people that get chronic disease in that country high. You see, you get up to ninety percent for hunger. If you see the layers that we bring in high, so 
the number of projects they are find they be higher, and whether I see they get lesser chronic disease. So when so when you chop fine, we you get less chronic disease, when you chop low or you get very high percentage of chronic diseases. And not the only diabetes. I'm just going to show you some evidence and then we'll talk a little bit more about the diet. This is a person who came in with a blood sugar close to 400 on insulin. That's amazing then. But after that three weeks, he stopped all that mess in them and he brought sugar still remain constant. So you can see this is very powerful at any age. So if you see I say, you no matter the age, whether you're young or you're old, where you chop fine, they have blood sugar level, PCP cured. The average person comes in with a blood sugar of 247 on medication. So in place of the way they even take certain insulin, they have blood sugar CP up to 247. And then to 86 without medication. And if you go right down to 86, when they did everything with the guy is winning again. All you have to do is follow the intense diet. So we had a child who showed me an example they would even even people there. So and as he also too by the example they had shown, you know say if you follow the exact diet, the diabetes will go will go away. So I'm gonna share the levels of diet. If you're just prevention or pre-diabetes, the vegetables, nuts and seeds. You chop plants and vegetables. You chop seed them or nuts, cashew nuts. And also what we call sea vegetables, like uh, seaweed, nori. Yeah, sea vegetables and then soup. And I don't say no about if you have. Yeah, the seaweed an example to one with a chopper. For that, for that side, the seller is me. What do you know about if you have? That would be very good for you. Contrary to what most people have think, fat is actually good for you. That's what they just say, fat no good way for chop and then contrary to that, it does say if you chop some fat, I should say go tell the camera how you chop up. The research of one of the books. School, the uh, organic farming. And at some point maybe we'll get some training on how to prepare the special food. Maybe even here, maybe even Paul can help with that. Because he was trained at the tree of life. Cafe or kitchen, so he knows our methods. Okay, people, then at least he the combination, David. If they do that center for you, you will be really successful because also he answered it fine. So, Carol and Linda in particular is a, a very, very special place in all of Africa. Carol and Linda in particular is a very, very special place in all of Africa. So, that just means they're like a special place for Africa to set up the research center. Yes. everyone here that we can make this a very successful program to inspire all of Africa. And you want to say we all we work together because it's when we make as soon as we use that. And we'll use that example for everything can be other like the foods that Dr. Cousins is talking about. When I flew here the other day, I flew across the Sahara Desert. And it was a clear day and I looked down and there was nothing but sand. Nothing, nothing at all grew. So now that the next talk, uh, and Dr. Arnold is now going to talk now for you. So he does say, okay, now how would you do that talk about all the chop them? How would you make them to get the chop them? And type key fly the camp here, he fly across desert. He look desert and dry land, sand, 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 sand. He is, you know, place of plant shop. The reason we have diabetes in the big cities, I just came from Lagos, is because they are like food deserts. Food deserts. And the reason we get diabetes is trying to sit in them, the big cities, they don't come out there, they don't come out from Lagos. I was not going to be sitting so chop the honey, grow them, but they have a great job now, but they put in the power of plenty of food. I mean, Lagos is a Tuala for you. So if you imagine Tuala, chop no over there. So, when we think about the food deserts, we know that we live in a food desert if we live in a big city. So, how do we get the foods? We all would like to have fresh vegetables and fruits and those things that are good for us, but they're not here. So, how do we get those? 
So what they did for the big city, there was no say problem for them at all because no money they want to that family, no money they want to that business. So the second I say, how would you get the job? What you did for the kind of big city then? Uh, so what we have done starting about two years ago with both the Alpha Club and with the Bakuda up in the Northwest, uh, the Bambui area, we started capitalizing the micro lending programs for the purpose of providing seeds, tools, and the resources for the farmers in the rural areas to begin to produce the food that we can bring here to the bigger cities, as well as for their own communities. So the center that I do for the past two years, did I try for support with micro lending for this small small money for people they win? Like for, for Bambi and for Alpha Club group, for give money for people they win, they feel helped. With the one grow the job the way you will help you for 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 for, for live naturally. So that is us for the past two years. And so our PEP program, which also a foundation like the Tree of Life, we partnered in our areas. They are partnering in the aspect of the diabetes prevention and treatment. We are also pro uh, partnering in providing the microcredit and the resources to elevate the farms so they can produce to us the organic foods, the options that we need to stay healthy. Okay, so we know the Dr. Cousins, the Commander at Tree of Life Center, and in that tissue, how the kind of that we will find to cure diabetes. And Dr. Arnold, they are partner now with Tree of Life, we try to say that if you provide now this small small money, they start people, they will grow the chop them. Because nobody will talk and so they need people who grow the chop them for chop them. So the idea will be, for instance, we will be going to this afternoon to dedicate the high-tech tailoring shop, which the original intention was to provide employment for people with diabetes. So it's not only providing the uh, vegetables, but they also have to have the income to be able to purchase. And that's one example that we'll be looking at this afternoon at, I believe, 2 o'clock. So they have to open the high tech shop. One of the other areas that we'll be exploring with Bakuda and the microcredit program in Bambui is purchasing uh, the type of equipment that will help facilitate the farms, such as road tillers. So I'll start to see how they can purchase the tuna for the for big farm. No, say for farm, farm, you just for two farm, farm, you need to buy some kind of equipment. So I'm going to improve it from one to one to farm, you say, but for here now, if I'm going to buy the kind of equipment, now we're going to use them for farm. Also, one young man that we interviewed in Nigeria, he's talking about, he lives in Lagos, 14 million people. He's beginning to look at small, that job we the job about the job we so so no problem no the second half for now to prepare and I'm all fear of any man we want to prepare the job for yet what we are around the general. So I think the point is too there's a number of young people that are here. There's young people who will be going to the Tree of Life Vegan program. We have Paul Malakos who's come here himself to produce. Uh, spend his time for two and a half. Uh, months here to volunteer. So those are just some of the things. And I think we're pretty much finished, Toby, with the pictures. I'm not sure. But wait, this is a portable greenhouse. This is something that we have engineered on our farm where you can grow your crops and then you move the greenhouse as the crops mature. In this way, you can control the climate. And it's all done passive. We use no electricity. No, uh, other than the solar uh, heating, you can see the uh, road cover, but sometimes it can snow in the area where Dr. Cousins and I are, even though it's not natural or, or real, but we do have to remember that we can through greenhouses, even in the summer when it's very hot, we can still grow things. And the vegan farming program is going to take us through all the four seasons, so I think that's, that's really good. Okay, so as we know, Paul will be for here, and so three people will go further and further. I need people to travel to America, so when they come back,
You will come here, work with that center, and you will have a collaboration between America and Cameroon. So that whole collaboration will really go on continuously. So I guess in closing, we'll say that this is the partnership between Cameroonians, Americans, and the whole world because diabetes affects us all. So we must together find those ways that are gonna help continue to prevent and cure diabetes the natural way. I hope you will all remember one thing, one thing, very important. I was in Ghana for the National Diabetes Association. Ghana totally gets it. Ghana preaches that diabetes is curable. They've always done that, and that's why that country is moving ahead. We have so much old school around there saying, oh, no, 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 diabetes is incurable. Well, how did you get diabetes to start with? It's what you did to your body. So you have to undo those things. And Dr. Cousins has provided some very good data. 38 years, he's been all over the world and have been acclaimed by presidents, by parliaments, for all of the work that he's done. So we hope that we can learn together, but don't ever let anybody tell you diabetes cannot be cured, okay? It can be cured in a natural way, but you should never do it without consultation with the doctor or with a, the association and people like that. Things, remember that Dr. Cousins and I have just come to make a presentation here today. He's not doing private consultations. That's not why we're here. And you should not change what you're doing unless you see a doctor or you go through the diabetes. Edward, where's Edward? Edward's out there working. That's who you should see. Okay? So I think we have covered a lot today. We want to thank so much the people. Uh, I want to thank so much Sister uh, Pauline and the Alpha Club uh, for their. Let's give them a big hand. We want to thank also Polycarp, who's been our mentor. And those of you that didn't get a bracelet, be sure you go get tested. So you have your bracelet, and on the back of it, it has our website, West African Rural Empowerment Society. Please look that up, and you'll see many things about Cameroon as well. It's on that website, and we really wish you good health. Remember, it's a spiritual thing, it's an exercise thing, it's a thing of getting good sleep, and also taking very good care of what you put into your body. And always never forget, what is this called? No. The heavenly dream. Why, why is it the heavenly dream? Comes from the sky. Do you know if you were to, to take everything in your body, putting it 80% of your body would be water. So, when you drink water, do you know why the most, um, the best Olympic athletes today eat no meat? They have no sugar, no diabetes, no uh, uh, the sweet drinks or dairy products. It's because when they drink water, how about if you have a Fanta? You have to take the sugar out, you have to take the preservatives out, you have to take the color out, and your body's so tired by that. So, but if you drink water directly, that's why people that are vegan and uh, Dr. Cousins at one time could do 200 push-ups a day. 600, but yeah, we'll, we'll take it in half. But anyway, you see, it's what you do to your body that makes a difference. So I want to thank everybody that's here today. The Alpha, how many from the Alpha Club? Will you stand up, the Alpha Club people? So we can give them a big hand. Okay. So very good. Thank you so much. And back to the MC, or do you want to wrap it up? First of all, I really want to thank Dr. J. Rose. Let's give him a hand. I want to say one more thing. I was sure we're talking about actually. It's much easier to do the work here than in the United States. Why? Are we translate? Okay, just 
you want to share something and be easy to work for yourself past America, I will tell you why now. Because in the United States, we have to go against the drug companies, the soft drink companies, all the corporations. Because in America, when you talk kind of so, you know, stop with them, make drink, uh, meat with them, swimming with them, they will do vex to you. So you defy the principle if you want to talk the kind of thing. And here, people have, your leaders have very good understanding that the direction we're talking about frees you from the domination of the international corporations and returns you to local control, local food, local community strength. But yeah, the leader they understand fine and they support the more chop who locally grown chop them, naturally grown chop them. And then they do some more the drink and that's in the way that big big company they produce and so for the one being more chop them. They just they encourage them to chop the local in the way for America, I know this so because they used to make a same meal for the main money for America. We they chop all that in the way you don't find their skin. And because people are closer to the natural, healthy, and spiritual ways, it's easier. And even if we have a couple of the big closer to nature of the ASF Pass to America. Thank you very much for being ready to make this happen. I know I thank everyone. So we to me, you know the experience of the you know the talks say in the beginning little time. So you could just brief me. When he go back, when I will remember with Mr. Tenge, he go back. Sorry, yes. When I will get all that directive, so I get that hand out and all that. So you know, when he comes up for the big plan to die and go for the direction, and he just pray for now and how for our heart and so on, I will remember what it is. But Toby, also the fact we'll be opening the research center here in Limbe, so you will be having the first information going out throughout all Africa. We'll start right here in Limbe. So uh, once we get the center open, we'll begin to develop the research and we'll be keeping feeding information to the association and then they will be sending out. Because we got all of your addresses. Did everybody get this? How many still need to be tested? How many they don't test? And it is difficult. So willpower, as they talk about the spiritual side, that one not going to be us pray and just take up and die. But that willpower, before you attempt or go into it, is necessary. And that consultation for the American doctors and the sick association will be very, very necessary. And um, whoever knows say, if I that agriculture they talk to, now another important thing. For buy some of those things, eh? Nah. You know, it's.